Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jo and I help creatives and designers with freelancing, passive income and tech. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add your Instagram feed and other social media accounts to your Squarespace website, as well as a bit of a fix if it decides to disconnect from your website. Before we dive into the video, I just want to let you know that if I've got any uh, resources or links or anything like that, I'll put it in the comment section below of the video. And if you're keen to give Squarespace a bit of a go, I've got a discount code for you. You can use the code PARTNER10 to get 10% off your first subscription with Squarespace. So without further ado, let's jump on over to the computer and let's get going. Right, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you're logged into all of your social media accounts. So Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, anything like that. And that's just so you can make sure that when you start to connect your social media accounts or refresh them in the website, that your correct social media account pops up. So just do that first because it makes the next steps a lot easier. So once you've done that, log into your website and you're going to come to the back end of Squarespace and go to settings and connected accounts. This is a Squarespace 7.0 website, but I'm pretty sure the settings are still the same in 7.1. And you can see that I've already got all of these social media accounts connected already. If you're connecting a new account, you just click connect account. It's pretty self-explanatory. And you've got all of these different options that you can choose from. When you click on one of these, it's going to open up with a, a pop-up, which hopefully you've logged into your correct social media account and you just authenticate it. If you notice that you're, you've done all of that and it's been a little while and for some reason your Instagram block is not updating or some of your social media accounts are not actually showing the correct content, there will be a little red, this will turn red and you'll need to re-authenticate it. So all you would need to do is click on the social media account that is red and a pop-up will come up and you can re-authenticate it. Once you've done that, just go through your site and check anywhere that you have any social media blocks or any social media links that everything is set up correctly. So when you are, and this is the same process, so if you're re-authenticating or if you're putting in any new social media as well. So to do that, what I usually do is wherever the old one is or the new one is you want to put, I click on the plus and you can come down into Instagram and you can see that because I've already connected the account, it's there and then I can just re-put the block in there and click apply. So that works for both ways if you're inserting a new social media account or a new Instagram block or if you're refreshing it. I just like to put new ones in because it's just clean and um, just to make sure everything is working correctly. So I'll just remove that. And then when you're doing social links, um, it's the same kind of process. You click the plus and you look for social links. And because all of these are connected already, um, like I showed you in that previous window, they already come up, which is cool. Or you can add your social links um, manually here. If any of them um, have decided not to connect for some reason, uh, like in a couple of weeks once you've installed it or, you know, there's been some updates on some social media platforms, you'll notice that these will be red as well and you'll need to re-authenticate them too. So I can just go in and change the, um, the styles here and make sure that they're the same as that. So it's pretty simple and it's pretty easy um, and that's basically how you can add any social media accounts um, can, and connect them to your Squarespace website and when you need to re-authenticate them you'll notice that it just goes red and you just need to reinstall it and honestly that just happens mainly because there's so many updates with uh, social media platforms sometimes websites can just disconnect but it's a really simple process so I hope that this video has helped you if you ever want to connect new social media accounts or re-authenticate any Instagram feeds or any social media accounts if you enjoyed my content today please like the video make sure you subscribe even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so I can create more for you